before. I've never been rejected from a bar in all four years. Lindsay Allen is just one of several dozen students who shared their downtown experience at the NAACP's meeting Tuesday night. But not all students could say the same. One time I went downtown, I had a crop top on, so they didn't let me in, but my white friend was in with a crop top. Some bars post their dress codes, but Lindsay says even when she violates them, no problem. I've never been talked to about my dress code or what I'm wearing. I've never been questioned whether I would buy alcohol, like if I got into the bar or any of that. And honestly, to me, it makes me angry. This group of students is angry, too. Dude didn't even look at my ID. It was just like, I'm sorry, man, we having a private party right now. And I'm saying, how you having a private party? and you just let them two people in who came with me. What some did not know is that these bars are privately owned and that can make a difference. Anytime you have a private business, you do have the right to refuse service to anyone. You can't discriminate based on protected classes such as race or gender. You can, dis um, you can choose to not serve someone, for example, who seems intoxicated or is coming in and has stolen from you in the past. A dress code is one of those rights, according to bar manager Graham Private Longer. Business. But we are a business that's owned by an owner who is allowed to pretty much, within reason, do any kind of restriction for dress code or age requirement. Now the question that the NAACP wants to know is if all these students keep complaining of such negative experiences, then why continue to come downtown and support these businesses? Us not going down to the bars, that's not going to make a big difference. That's like telling them, oh, you win. The organization says they do have other ideas than just boycotting. The, the president says she will keep us updates with what's coming next. Brianna Belser, Grady News Source.